Hi, I'm Daniel from Tech65, and today I want to show you how our, our episodes of Gear 65, which is the weekly gadget show where we review gadgets, is actually done on iMovie. Uh, I'm going to actually show you how we actually edit Gear 65 number 28, which is the episode uh, on the Canon 500D D DSLR camera uh, on iMovie today. Alright, so let's go get started. So this is iMovie 09, and this is the one that we use. We started with iMovie 08, and iMovie 09 actually greatly improved. So let me just introduce to you some of the, the segments in, within the standard iMovie. Okay, uh, so right here, this is the, uh, the events library. Each time you import your videos, you actually put them into events, and um, you know all the video clips are actually up from here. And, and um, over here, this is the preview window, of course, and the bottom, this is the projects section. This is where your projects actually all go, and then once you start editing a project, you will see them all down here. Uh, this is something what you actually used to know as a pro uh, uh, what you call it, a storyboard, except that um, you know on iMovie 08 and 09, um, the, it's a cross between a timeline and a storyboard. Um, I'll show you later, all right? So let's begin by creating a new project. And we can do that by clicking on the plus sign right here, which will open this little thing here, and we will call this Gear 65 number 28. So my challenge today is actually to, to, to. Uh, my challenge today today is actually edit this entire video within 10 minutes, or in this case, eight minutes. Now that the tab two minutes are already over. Okay, I'm gonna set some settings, and uh, the first one I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna enable Playhead Info. What this does is that it allows me to see the date and the time that was this video was recorded, which is important because we, we're going to be doing picture in picture. The next one I'm going to do is enable advanced tools that what was in the preference section. And what it does is it allows us to use cut do cutaways and picture in pictures as well. Okay, so once that is done, let's begin. Okay, I'm going to look for uh, an event that we created the first time we began Gear 65, and that is the intros event. That's because our intros is inside. So this is how you actually add a clip into iMovie, right? So basically, what you do is that you select the start of the clip and oh, day you want it to start, and then you select the end, which in my case it will be about here, right? And then after that, you just drag it into the projects, uh, the project, and as you can see. The transition has been automatically added in already. Okay, so let's go back to our Canon 500D event, which is right here, and let's start putting in the intro, uh, which we record at the back, at the last, at the end of the whole thing because it's the least important. And it starts from about right here and ends about right here. Right, and let's drag it right in. Okay, and then after that, let's go to the first section of the video clips of our video, which starts at about five and right here. As you can see, as I'm moving, is I'm already skimming through the video, which is really really useful. All right, fifty-two, forty-two, fifty-two, which is right here. And I'm just gonna throw this in. Uh, not only does the video skim. Uh, the audio skims as well, so you can actually do this, watch the transitions, and actually hear the audio. So that's how you actually know how precise it is. If you want to be even more precise, you can actually uh, click right this little button here. There's something called the precision editor, right? And that will actually create something like this. So you can actually go down to seconds, find the part where you want it, and then after you can just double click it, and it will actually. Oops! Once you do that, you'll turn off the automatic transitions. Uh, double click it, and it will actually readjust. The, um, readjust the clip, right? So let's continue. I'm done with this part. Okay, I'm gonna re-enable the uh, automatic transitions. Okay, all right. I'm gonna find the second section of the clip, which is basically the entire of my second clip, which you can right-click and select to do that. All right, and then let us do the outro, which begins at. <coughs> About here, we're five minutes in, and we're almost done. Hold on, five and five, and we end off right here. And we throw this in. Let's test it out. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. And perfect. All right. Next thing we're gonna do is the titles. 
to enable the titles, all you do is just click on the little T, this one right here, okay, and it will open the title browser. And then which in this case we use the something called the lower third. And we're just gonna drag this to the bottom to the end of our thing, and it will ask us to choose a background. The one that we always choose is called industrial. Okay, and then we're gonna put in our URL and the place where we filmed it. And that's it. At this point of time, we can actually pretty much just end off the entire episode right here and start exporting the video clips because that's it. This is our normal episode, right? Except, you know, we're going to add in a few titles here and there. Uh, but of course, you know, we're going to add a little bit bonus right here because this is a video, this episode, we're actually reviewing the camera. So I'm going to quickly, very quickly, I have about two and a half minutes left to show you how we do picture in picture. All right, so let's get started. Let's go in. And uh, let's go back to iMovie again and look for the video clip, which is this one right here. And I'm going to select the entire clip, all right? And I'm going to go somewhere to the start. Now, uh, this is where it's very important when if you have two cameras, it's important that you actually synchronize the clock on both of them so that you can, uh, you know, be able to throw in the clips a lot more easier, all right? So I'm going to throw this right in and I'm going to hopefully throw it into somewhere around see uh, right, uh, right here okay so the moment I do that right this is where you have something like this okay you have audio only cutaway picture in picture green screen okay my recommendation just play with these four don't touch anything else especially not inset all right if you want to do something like inset choose cutaway instead because when you do that it adds a second layer and you can at least move the clip around if you need to so the one we're going to be doing is picture in picture all right and this little pop-up will actually appear uh, oops, sorry, no pop up. So what happens is it creates a second layer, and what we're gonna do right now, if you actually, if we take a look right now, uh, right here. Uh, by the way, uh, each time you you see a, a red dot, it's actually kind of like a, a sample, right? So the sample actually previewing on this particular red dot, and what you can actually see right here is that, uh, you know, you actually uh, already have a picture in picture on this part here. This is actually the video that was uh, that is coming out from the Canon 500D. And the background is actually the video that's coming out of our main camera and what we want to do is instead is we want to swap this so we can actually change that so what we do is we select uh, oops all right uh, we select the clip and we choose this little thing here and we select clip adjustments and this will open up a little pop-up like this all right on the picture and picture effect we're going to choose right here this is different kinds of picture and picture effect this one just dissolves it in there's something called zoom Basically, this is a um, you know it was the, the clip was uh, zoom out, and this one is called swap. This is something unique. What it does is that it swaps the foreground, as you can see, uh, right here is already changing it. It swaps the foreground with the background, all right. And then I'm gonna enable, let's say, a border, maybe drop a shadow. Click done. And right now, the Canon 500D is the, in, is in the background, um, and uh, this little tiny little box right here. This one is the picture in picture that's the coming out of our Sanyo camera and I can actually move this around. I can even resize it if I want to. Alright, okay, click on done. The next thing you need to do is that you need to make sure that the audio is in sync because if the audio is in sync, the time is in sync as well. So we're gonna test it right now. And so so the nice So you can see that uh, my my clip isn't in sync, right? So I don't really have time to do that uh, to do the adjusting, so you just gotta do the adjusting yourself. Um, you know, just move them around a little bit, okay? Until you get it in sync, it's very important, all right? So once you got it in sync, you can start cropping the video. So in this case, I'm going to crop the ends here, and I'm going to make it end of about here. And uh, even then, you know, uh, the, the video clip is not going to move, and that's it. Our uh, entire episode of Gear 65 is done with picture in picture, all right? Uh, so how are we going to export it? We're going to actually go up here to the share, and select either YouTube or export movie. Okay, and if you actually want to actually change it to something else, uh, let's say non HD, just right click anywhere. Uh, you can actually duplicate a project. Once you can duplicate it, uh, you can just right click on the uh, project in the library, duplicate it, and then after that, change the aspect ratio. By changing it, it will actually automatically readjust all your titles and all your picture and pictures and all your effects so that you know they all work very well. Um, you know, so you don't have to worry about uh, whether they will uh, actually look strange or anything like that. And uh, I'm gonna actually go up here to share. Alright, I can just export movie or YouTube, the dialog boxes are about the same, choose either HD or medium which is the ones that we use for different formats and that's it, export it in your video 
is done. Alright, so that was uh, how we actually do Gear 65 on, uh, on iMovie 09.